G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv and in this video we are going to write a small data snap server and client. And we'll start with a server. So we'll go new other uh, data snap and data snap server. So you've got two options, rest and um, sort of non-rest. Uh, we'll go with the non-rest, uh, it's more efficient on local networks because um, the data is binary, forms application, VCL, uh, well, I should go back. So, forms application, perfect for debugging. Uh, service application is probably what you'd use to deploy. We will make a VCL application and we're sticking with TCP RP. Uh, if you do HTTP or HTTPS, it's still using binary, it's not REST, it's still binary um, formats. But we're also going to add encryption and authentication. So, if we go next. Port 211. Yes, I haven't got a server running currently, so that's good. And T component is good. If you're wanting to put data sets and things on there, it's good to have a the, this DS server module. We're just going to have a couple of methods, so a T component is perfect. Okay, so ooh, nice. Okay, that's good. Into that. Um, uh, is it going to come back and haunt us? No, that seems to be fine now. So we have our new server units, and this is, this is our T server methods one, and it's got the two sample methods, echo string and reverse string. And in our server container, we have a server class, and that is hooked up when we get a, a get class to our server methods one. We also have a authentication manager, which we'll talk about later. That's for our, our username and password stuff. A transport filter. That is, uh, if we go here and look at the filters, we see that we've got uh, RSA encryption and PC1. Well, that's RSA for the um, exchanging the private keys uh, for the, the, the book, exchanging the, PC, exchanging the PC1 key. But anyway, and there's also the DS server, uh, which is auto start, so this is now capable of running. So we'll run that and minimize that down, and let's build our client. And so I'm going to build a new Windows VCL application, and we need a SQL connection, which I'm not going to give any particular uh, name to. We do need to specify the driver as being data yeah, data snap and I'm going to disable login prompt because it does not work and we can see in our parameters um, host name is localhost and so we don't need to do anything and we are connected to our server so we now want to do our reverse string uh, method so I'm going to throw an edit on there and I'm going to call it edit reverse string. This is um, part of uh, CN pack up here. So you need to install that if you want component naming. And a button, it's got button reverse, and I'm just going to remove the button from the caption. And we'll throw that somewhere there. So click on reverse, and it reverses the string in here. Fairly simple. To be able to do that, we need to generate proxy classes. And if we right click, um, we can generate the data snap client classes. Uh, I'll do that. And then we have our T server methods one client with an echo string and a reverse string. So um, also if, if you're doing this, uh, I've, I found the, the generate proxy classes to be a bit unreliable if you're doing it uh, regularly. So you can add a DS proxy generator and that needs a metadata provider. And we need a connection metadata provider, which we hook up to our SQL connection. Add our metadata provider. And in here, we can specify uh, that we want uh, object Pascal DBX. And then we can specify a, a file name and directory and other bits and pieces. Uh, but um, we're not going to bother with that we're just going to stick with our unit 41. So we need to use 41. 
So what we need to do is create a server and I'm just going to grab, copy and paste that. Now it needs a DBX connection. Now our SQL connection one is not a DBX connection, but it has one. And of course, and of course we want to free it. So for a reverse string method, we need to specify a string, which of course is our uh, edit reverse string dot text. Okay, and the only other thing I need to really do, really do is Oh, I better. Okie dokie. So, in theory, that should be enough. Yep. So, that's, that's uh, you know, <laughs> sending this off, getting it reversed, and uh, retrieving the, the, the result. So, uh, not a very efficient way to reverse a string, but um, it's exactly what we want to achieve. We are communicating with our server. So our next step, if I just shut down the server, is we want to specify a username and password. And we do that in the authentication manager. So I'm just going to use the same text. Um, and the user is going to be Alistair. And well, wait. same story maybe for... So, uh, same text is not case sensitive. So password and not secure. In fact, we'll make it not secure one, just to make it slightly less not secure. Uh, but yeah, not a very good password. Uh, I think that will, that would get broken uh, in a reasonable amount of time. And so we need to rerun our server. So we run without debugging. Come back to our client, and in our client, we need to specify the username and password. Now, I mentioned briefly about the login prompt not working. Um, that is because in our parameters, uh, I mean, there's no way of adding uh, new ones here. So we go to the code editor, and was authentication. I'm just going to copy that to top board. User equals, oops, Alistair. Was not secure one. Okay, save. Yes, please. So that should now be in our parameters. Now, the reason why the login prompt doesn't work is because the login prompt sets parameters user underscore name and password, not DS authentication user and DS authentication password. So um, it probably should, but it should detect that the driver is data snap. But anyway, or yeah, you know, use, username and password should work uh, for data snap. But that's okay. So we should be able to set connect to true. Yes. And we, if we run that now, our reverse string works. And we have, you know, it's protected by, protected by username and password and encryption. Um, all safe and secure, right? Well, not really. Uh, <laughs> it's only secure if you're not concerned about security. So firstly, we're, we're storing the username and password in the client. We really need to prompt for it. And yeah, and in the server methods, uh, no, server container, um, in the transport. So let's go filters. We have uh, this PC one, and is, is that is that a good good key? Um, the answer is no, uh, <laughs> but n not possibly for the reasons you might think. And we've got a key length of one thousand twenty four and a key exponent of three. Uh, are those values good? Well, you can easily Google that because this is the standard RSA properties. Um, the answer is again, uh, it depends. And if you want to find out uh, how, how to fix the security in this application, do come to my talk at ADAG this year, at the ADAG Symposium. So we have here, uh, scroll up to the top. So um, this is the 2024 Symposium, and I am presenting a 
paper or a uh, topic, Enhancing Application Security in Delphi. And we'll talk about the um, usual SQL injection and GUI modification kind of stuff. You know, how, how secure are Win32 GUIs? Um, the answer is not very, uh, but there are plenty of ways of, of fixing that. Um, this was like a CSV injection. Uh, that was a, a new one to me uh, recently and a few other bits and pieces. Um, there's also PDF injection, um, which can be a problem. So do come along to my talk on the 17th of May 2024. If it's past that date, there hopefully will be a replay available for it, although not necessarily. There is a uh, small fee, I think, for attending. But um, basically, there's, there are prizes, and effectively, your, your fee will be completely um, minuscule compared to the sponsors there's, there's usually stuff I've, I've donated a few books i think you'll have to be attending in person uh to get a copy of the um the physical book but anyway i'm, I'm rambling uh do come along to the talk if you can make it uh it should be quite interesting i'm looking forward to seeing some of these other talks as well so i'm alistair christie from learndelp.tv oh and i, I should do self-promotion as well i do have a couple of books code faster in delphi and code better in delphi which you can get um, from learndelphi.tv. So, uh, yep, I'm Alistair Christie. Attend my talk, get my books, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.